York as a city is one of the safest places in the UK and one of the safest campuses in the world. Health and safety on the university campus is our number one priority and we have a big community here from, from all over the world with about 16,000 students and 3,500 staff and lots of visitors on the campus. It is a very safe place to be but even so we want to take every step we can to try to reassure people about their personal safety and SafeZone app was a very useful and effective way to help, to help us to do that. The university itself is uh, quite large, covers two main campuses, mm -hmm. both Heslington East and West. Uh, the newer build is at Heslington East. Mm -hmm. We have over 280 buildings mm -hmm. uh, and we have a student population of around 16,000 wow. with uh, around three or 4,000 uh, staff looking after them. Because it's a 24-hour university, we also uh, offer the SafeZone app to uh, contracted workers and we can actually identify where they are identify the building that they're in mm. and we can actually see if they do need our assistance. With our international students, 20% mm. of our students are international, again they, they sometimes have difficulties with the language and they just want to hear a familiar voice mm. and that's fine. They can press that uh, the, the, the button and they'll get in touch with our security centre. There's a huge facility here, a beautiful library and what's the footfall here? I mean you must have hundreds if not thousands of students. Yeah, at any one time we kind of peak around the 1200, 1300 mark yeah. and of course that's kind of changing all the time so there's literally thousands of people, mm. thousands of users coming in and out of here um, all the time. Of course it's probably the single most busiest building in the whole of the university because it is very cross-discipline um, and um, it's a sort of a, a must-have place to visit to, <laughs> to come and study and to retrieve you know essential reading. Safe Zone adds another layer of reassurance um, for the students. Obviously we have members of staff who go around on patrol and physically check that people are okay. Mm -hmm. um, but it's often when they've actually finished you know, studying and often they're over, over ambitious in terms of mm -hmm. how, how, how late they want to study and you know, although we're open 24-7, often we find a bit of a lull mm. um, after about three o'clock in the morning. One, one of the benefits we found of, of this particular product is that we've been able to configure um, the, the help desk information button yeah. so that that goes through to a, 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 a staffed call centre if you like so that where we've got um, staff and customers um, across the university that whether it be reporting of a leak in tap through to requiring directions yeah. they can call the help desk and actually speak to a real person at the end of the phone they'll be able to handle that call and either complete that inquiry there and then or point them into the right direction be it a maintenance requirement directions or um, passing them on to the security centre should they need an intervention. We're quite a big campus, we're spread over two areas, we've got Hesington West and Hesington East. So on a nighttime winter night you do find that it can be quite dark, um, you know, it's, it's street lights around but as a lone person walking from Hesington East to Hesington West you can feel quite vulnerable and I think for people with this app now it just gives them that comfort blanket to say oh if I do have an issue then I can just press this button and feel secure. I was walking back from um, being at a colleague's house um, just for dinner, kind of a socialising experience, um, walking across campus back to my own house um, quite late at night, about 11, 12 o'clock. Um, there weren't many cars on the road, so um, just to kind of my own peace of mind, um, open safe zone, checked in, um, had it open in my pocket just in case I needed it, and then um, kind of had the peace of mind from using safe zone that if there was a problem or if I kind of needed to call somebody, I'd be able to do it. You really get a sense of why Safe Zone is needed um, in, in universities across the UK, as I'm sure in Australia where you've got the big open campuses, campuses as well. Um, why is this particular place such a good um, place for Safe Zone to be in operation? Yeah, yeah. So firstly, I suppose the, the thing to reinforce is that York in particular is a very safe place and a very safe mm. campus. and They really value the safety and security of all of their staff and students and implementing Safe Zone is a way of really reinforcing that. Mm. To take uh, a big campus environment like this, when em whenever anyone needs assistance in this type of environment, it's a really large space and they've only got a few people who can respond to that actual situation. So knowing where and who mm -hmm. and exactly who can respond and having that vision visual indication of what's happening around their environment is absolutely key to maintaining a safe environment. From our point of view, SafeZone provides us 
with more eyes, more ears, more opportunity for all the students to actually utilise our skills instead of just one person walking around hopefully being in the right place at the right time. We'd be very happy to talk to other universities about the advantages that we've experienced from implementing SafeZone app.